Dragon Hoops, a graphic novel by Jean Luen Yang, and a first chapter Friday read aloud with The Word Nerd. Be sure to check the rest of my channel for more great basketball books. This week we're going to be reading Dragon Hoops by Jean Luen Yang, and before we dive into this amazing and award-winning half-sports story, half-sports history, um, I want to tell you that uh, Jean Luen Yang is like one of the nicest humans ever. I got to meet him when he came to my local public library with my kids, um, and so this is his first sports book. In fact, he says that he's like a converted sports lover. He didn't super love sports before, so if that's where you're at, if you're more like on the word nerd side uh, than the sports lover side gene was there too and he tells you all about how he was converted to love basketball in this book so let's dive right in i'm going to screen share so that you can see all of the amazing art and the words as well and i'm really excited to read you dragon hoops by gene lewin yang prologue mr yang i've hated sports ever since i was a little kid especially basketball games usually started off well enough wow a dragonfly but inevitably, Gene, heads up. Jam. Ow. And the pain wouldn't be limited to my fingers. You gotta learn how to handle a bullet plastic. My junior high nickname. It used to be really, really skinny. What can I say? I'm just not a sports kind of guy. I'm a story kind of guy. Comic book stories, specifically. With stories, I know what I'm going to get. Heroes being heroic, villains being villainous, good triumphing in the end, and no jammed fingers along the way. In a well-crafted story, everything makes sense, which is more than I can say for sports. After I graduated from college, I began writing and drawing graphic novels. I wanted to tell my own stories. Around the same time, I also became a high school teacher. This is where I teach, Bishop O'Dowd High School in Oakland, California. So here's the thing about growing up. As you get older, you generally spend less and less time with people who aren't your kind of people. Case in point, our faculty lunchroom. Nerdy teachers, drama teachers, PE teachers, even we teachers tend to stay with our own, where we're most comfortable. But every now and then, something makes you leave. 2013. What's in the box, Daddy? Something cool? A present? I think it might be my new graphic novel. Oh, I wish it was a present. Congratulations, honey. Yay! My last graphic novel took six years to finish. Teaching, weekdays, comics, nights and weekends, family. It was an awful lot of work, but it also gave the last six years of my life a certain balance. We should celebrate. In and Out Burger, yay! <sighs> Everybody in the van. It's a year later, the fall of 2014. I have yet to start a new graphic novel because I'm not sure what to write about. What if I've run out of stories? Hey, Mr. Yangers. You okay? You seem stressed out. I'm fine. Thanks for asking, Aaron. Not a big fan of that nickname, though. As long as you're all right, Mr. Yangular. I'm not a big fan of that one either, Todd. Hey, I can't wait for basketball season to start. I know, right? Biggest story on campus this year. Lately, I've overheard a lot of conversations about basketball in the hallway. Story? I'm intrigued, but they're talking about sports. Hun, you're still awake? Inspiration isn't something you can really control, is it? It hits when it wants to hit. What are you talking about? What if I'm all out of stories? Oh, come on, stories are all around us. The coach of the varsity men's basketball team is a guy named Lou Ritchie. Lou and I have talked a couple of times, but we don't know each other all that well. To be honest, he's not the kind of person I'd normally be friends with. I can imagine him in high school. You gotta learn how to handle a bullet pass stick. I put off talking to him for weeks. A narrow strip of road runs down the middle of campus. The classroom buildings are on one side, the gym is on the other. I've rarely had to cross it. Step. Coach Lou's office is this way? Down the stairs, yeah. Clang, clang, kids weight training. Sounds like a dungeon down here. Knock, knock. 
Hey, Lou? Yang! Wants to shake. Wants to pound it. Awkward. Shake. What's up, bro? I, uh, maybe this is weird, but I keep hearing people talk about your team this year. That's because we're about to win state, Yang. You looking to do your next book about us? Haha. <laughs> I'm not totally sure what state even means. You, uh, got a minute to talk? Sure, bro. Have a seat. Our first conversation lasts almost an hour, but ten minutes in, and I have already know I've found my next story. To continue reading Dragon Hoops by Jean Lu and Yang, pick up a copy from your school library, local indie bookstore, or from the link in the description box. Then be sure to come back each week in March for more great basketball books and to check out my full First Chapter Friday playlist. Finally, don't forget to subscribe and check out my channel for more great content like this March Madness trivia quiz game. See you again next time!